day where students volunteer to come on a day off, teachers teach, and their colleagues and peers get to learn from them are really magical because you don't know what you're going to learn. Uh, today we're going to do a little chemistry, a little bit of physics, and ultimately we're going to blow stuff up. Plug your ears. You all get to sing. If you don't like to sing, uh, you need to change your attitude. Here we go. Already there's some different uh, means of attack here. So we have four groups, but I also put this out here for all of you to explore if you'd like to kind of participate in the process as well. So the, these days are great for me because I'm in my second year. So getting to see what experienced teachers are doing in their class, like this morning I was at an art bot demonstration, so I got a lesson from that that I can take directly to my school. If we want to, you know, have our kids be at the caliber as like kids in Finland and Singapore and around the world, we gotta get dirty. <laughs> today I was very nervous about presenting because I am not a presenter, I'm not an expert. I did it because another teacher told me that if you're doing a good thing, don't hide it, share it, embrace it, and allow other people to um, be part of that. I think this hands-on demonstration really proves that you're on the right path. I love this day. I just think there's nothing better than teachers being able to watch other teachers working with children. It's one thing to learn something in a book, but when you actually see it being practiced and being implemented, it's awesome. And I think uh, we're really blessed. We have teacher experts who are willing to do this work and teachers willing to work with their colleagues. So it's great to be in Los Al today. Um, I love being able to see my colleagues in action with their kids so that I can take it back and tailor it to my classroom with my kids. What's valuable to me is the, are the demo lessons, the interaction with the kids, seeing the teacher interact. Silly. And how do you choose the genre for writing? Can you just tell us a little bit more about the process of planning? How long would you usually spend on a piece of literature? So what do you have to turn in on Friday? Just the first one? Okay, right way. Now I'm going to read it wrong way. So if you're doing something different that you could share with me? It's interesting to watch other teachers teach because you've learned some valuable strategies that you may or may not have even thought of on your own. To look at a master teacher and get more ideas to use in your classroom. It's just a great day.